Welcome and thank you for clicking on my video today. Today we are going to get into some technical analysis for the SPY Qs, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, NVIDIA, AMD, and Meta. As we go into today, we just want to realize that we are seeing this trickling down of selling here that is starting to taper off. But are we completing that cup and getting that handle right now? We're going to talk about all those things as we get into these stocks. But we do have those new updated ranges for you. So we really need to get into these as we go into the SPYs and the SPY and the Qs and see if we can find any setups for tomorrow. Let's get into it. So on the SPY, those updated daily ranges, the daily ranges is 50, 522, 51 uh, to the upside. And then we have 517, 13 to the downside here. So the range you're seeing, it's starting to shift down a little bit, um, which usually isn't the best sign. That means we can get some kind of reaction down, but we know that we could be getting some kind of reaction up the way that stocks are looking right now. So we have to go through a lot. But we have to be open to downside. What I wanted to point out about the SPY is really we're just struggling right around that five day moving average. OK, we weren't able to lose that five day on the daily chart here. Um, yes, we're closing slightly below it. We're seeing that selling pressure come in. This bar does not look good for the day. And we could see that go all the way down to the 20. Where would that take us? The bottom of the weekly expected move. So if you're new to this channel, we give daily and weekly expected moves. So that would mean that on the daily, if we start to get ex excited early on tomorrow and we get out to here, you actually have a 68 percent chance to see that fade, see that come down into this area. And then on the weekly side, these purple lines here, you're going to see if we break through this pretty early on in the week, you have that 68% chance to get a bounce land back within these purple lines. So that's overall what you need to know uh, about how we do things around here. But really what I see going forward for the SPY, just if it's able to um, buy up, right? If we're able to actually curl up this MACD, get into positive territory, we can see that an extra move higher. This isn't necessarily dramatic selling at this point. And we could actually see this continue tapering off like this, tapering off like this, maybe even head a little lower and then see some kind kind of reaction to then head higher by the end of the week. We do get a data drop tomorrow, so we will be live tomorrow. Please make sure you are liking and subscribing. Make sure you're subscribed with those notifications on so you can join us for those live videos where we answer questions and we show, um, we just run through stocks like crazy. I have ADHD, so I like to click around a bunch of stocks and we show you some trade setups, which we gave out on Patreon this afternoon with Apple. So as of right now, we're just ending the day at the lows. We haven't broken through that at that point, so tomorrow morning is going to be very important with that day. Data. Um, and as we pop over to the queues, right, we're seeing we're popping over to the queues here. We're noticing that range moving a little bit down. The cool part about the queues today. That, that daily expected move was right around this level here. And what do we do? We drop down to that level almost immediately. And what do we do? We land back in this zone, right? So 68% chance to land. Now we've updated those for you. So the daily expected move for tomorrow, 448.34 to the upside. And we have 441.18 to the downside. So the one thing I just wanted to point out as we are seeing this kind of trickling down, selling, you know, getting a bunch of flags and then selling off, this really looks like it wants to go down and we're heading into negative territory if that happens. So we could see an escalation in selling tomorrow. We'll have to see if that happens. We want to check where the queues are at. Are they around that five day moving average? And you can see right now they're sitting right on it. OK, they're sitting right on it just above it. So we could still see that. You know, when you come out of these Bollinger Bands, we've talked about this before, you like to reconnect with the five before you continue a move or before you break down. You want to see what happens around that five day moving average. So the 30 minute here, um, we were just talking about how it was overall flagging. It was overall flagging here. And if it wanted to head higher, well, it's going to make some kind of structure, right? Left head. And maybe this is going to be our right shoulder to actually head higher as we did break out of um, this little uh, flag here that we go and in, got going to the bull side. So really, as of tomorrow, we're going to be paying attention to live if this is able to curl up and do positive territory. Uh, the only thing that would be a problem is this two hour did show a red impression on the histogram at this point. So that just means this two hour MACD is telling you something different. It's telling you that momentum to the upside is dying out at these levels with these divergences up here. And so we might see lower prices. We might even see the daily start to cross over to the downside as of tomorrow goes. Do I think that'll happen? I actually think this probably has one more push left in it. I really do. Um, but it doesn't matter what I think. We trade like water out there. We trade based on the price action. We don't try to predict anything. We just give ourselves ideas and then whatever starts to happen in front of us, then we react to that. So if this crosses up in new positive territory, I'm going to say, okay, this thing can go a little bit higher. But if it wants to keep going down negative, then I have to pay attention to that two hour, see if that can go negative. Maybe we're starting that negative trend. Apple going forward, this was a trade setup we actually gave out on Patreon. We just said be a little bit careful with this as we aren't uh, all the way down towards our weekly expected move. I know um, 
I think it was, uh, maybe it was more Pando came out and said, oh, is that the daily expected move? You might've seen a red line across here. That's just the price, right? Um, so this daily expected, this uh, divergence down here on the 30 minute, something that likes to curl up that two hour. So I just posted this. And since we posted that right down at this level right here, we've seen some green tick up. We're seeing that sell off at the end of the day. So we have to see, maybe it creates a triple divergence or maybe this was just some people taking profit, but it looks eerily similar to the previous uh, action up in here. So we could be seeing another one of these drops, but you are tapering off. So maybe you just make a little point here and then head higher. We do get that data in the morning. So what you want to pay attention to on Apple is if this two hour is able to curl up now. Okay. So with that 30 minute divergence down here, I know the last bar of the day didn't look very good on the 30 minute, but if this is still able to curl up into positive territory, we can see that positivity come through and maybe we actually want to get to up to this zone and then we can see if there's any divergences that say we're going to start to sell off from this area. So we'll be paying attention uh, pretty closely to Apple over the next couple days. Tesla, this is kind of a, a wonky one. And we were talking about this live, like we just need this two hour to curl back up into positive. And look what it did at the end of the day. It curled back up into positive territory. So even though you have some flagging, it looks like here, it's not that dramatic. You do have structure, right, left head, uh, right shoulder here. So we could be seeing that head lower. We can still pay attention to divergences if we see that weakness come in on the two hour down here and use our weekly expected moves that we give out on Patreon to get some possible trade setups. Now, what I would like to to bring up here is this is going positive so as you are seeing stocks right at the center here you have to say it could go either way right there's nothing telling you that this you know the news tomorrow can't be bad and then if we see this drop or the news tomorrow can't be good and we see this pop this is right in the middle on the two hour so that's what we have to pay attention to i did want to click over to a 30 minute real quick and just show you guys how the structure of the macd the structure of the MACD down here, just not looking the best um, in my perspective. I don't really like this curving up, but as long as it keeps rejecting to the up to the upside, right? It keeps rejecting that downward cross going up again into positive territory. Now you are a little bit positive here. You have that opportunity to head higher from this area. So we just want to pay attention to Tesla moving forward. If this 30 minutes able to roll down, you might be seeing some kind of ABC pattern, but will that get you into an area that gives you a two hour divergence? So you might see a trade set up here. If we see lower prices, we'll pay attention to that on Tesla because of one thing, that daily momentum, that daily momentum looking pretty good, but you can see we're struggling to really close above the five day moving average at this point. But if this wants to confirm, you can see a solid bounce out of Tesla over the next few days. So don't be, uh, you know, I know that stocks are very, very high and they could start dropping as far as tomorrow, right? We could see something bad come out as far as tomorrow goes with volatility where it is. Um, very, very low, the fear really out of this market. So we could be seeing something bad come out, but until that comes out, we have to say, hey, you know, there's some things going positive. Even Tesla showing you a divergence down here on the daily MACD and the RSI at the same time. So we could be getting some kind of big pop out of Tesla soon. Amazon, going forward, I just wanted to show Amazon on the daily as well. That's why we just clicked over to it. Um, seeing that curl up, we could see that curl up, right? Cross over in positive territory. We could see a strong move for a few days here out of Amazon if it wants to. And then we get that point of divergence down here that kind of hints like, hey, there is some weakness and momentum here. So what I wanted to show you guys was the two hour here. Just show you guys how we do have some little possible um, weakness up here because of all these divergences. You see them kind of across the board. You can't even see this one here, but you see it all the way from this point, we have divergences pretty much all along this, and that just has to curl down and get into negative territory for that selling to really escalate. So pay attention to that going on into next week um, or into, into tomorrow. We'll pay attention to this live. But as of right now, you could also say this is a cup. Here's my handle. We might actually want to head higher if we get some good news and we do get a data drop tomorrow. NVIDIA, I know I've been talking about this one a lot and we're starting to test those highs again. The thing I just wanted to warn everyone about with NVIDIA, it really looks like the momentum is starting to die out. You might be getting some kind of double top up here because you do have divergence on the MACD. You have that divergence on the RSI at the same time. Now, this has not confirmed yet. Be very careful here because this could just be, you know, some kind of quick consolidation. Then it just turns right back up. So you really want to pay attention to these shorter time frames. This is something we were mentioning a lot on the live video. This triple 15 minute divergence during this uptrend here um, could actually prove to be a little bit worrisome. OK, so we're seeing that triple divergence. We're starting to make another point where we try to test that high and we fail, creating a slightly lower high here. Who's to say we're not going to break this level, create a lower one? 
then create another lower high and just keep that going on the 15 minutes. So um, we're really seeing this start to curl down. We can, we really want to pay attention tomorrow. If that goes negative, we could be seeing lower prices, getting that two hour to roll over on NVIDIA, which could be very, very bad news going into tomorrow. AMD, pay attention to the top side risk range. I think we might get there, but we did have divergences down here. We made another point down here to say, hey, now we have that opportunity to go a little bit higher, right? With this bar here, we actually got another point of divergence here. So we could see this actually see a pop. Now we are in some consolidation up in here and we want to see if we remain in that for quite some time because you could be seeing this as a left. If we see a move higher, we could set up a right shoulder and start to break down. AMD not looking good, not getting good news today, but able to hold up at higher levels, which tells you the bullishness is still here. The two hour in negative territory. So if we start to cross over on this two hour, we're taking out this low, we're heading lower on AMD most likely. So be careful with that. The 30 minute you'll notice though, it's right in the middle. Okay, so this is going to be the deciding factor in the morning. If we're going to see that roll over and cross through here, cross over that two hour, we can see lower prices for AMD. But if we get good news coming out in the morning, we actually could see this just go positive, right? So uh, the two hour looks like it could roll over in negative territory, but watch this 30 minute in the morning with us because um, if this thing's right in the middle, that means if we get good news in the morning, boom, push higher. If we get bad news in the morning, boom, push lower. That's really all you see on AMD right now. There isn't a lot to really go off of here, I would just say this could possibly be, you know, a head and shoulders with this bar here. So we want to pay attention to any time this actually does break again and we see that two hour curl back over. Meta, one that I'm paying attention to here, um, really, really think that Meta has the opportunity for a move higher. Why? Because, well, this MACD is starting to get towards that center line. And in the past, whenever we get towards that center line and then we cross back up, we see major positivity. We get towards the center line right here. What do we see? We see major positivity. Okay, so we could be getting uh, another positive move. But as this does roll into negative territory, you have to say, okay, let me look for a higher chart just to see what's going on. Oh, well, now I see there's possibly a double top up here. And we could be getting this to roll down the other way with this crossing of the MACD. So if you really want to see higher prices, you don't want this to go negative. You want this to be a short pullback. And then we start to cross up on that 30 minute or something like that and head to higher levels, maybe creating a more recent two hour divergence right here. That would make a lot of sense. Now we have to be careful and look out for some upside or downside because we do get news, the pretty important news, PCE on Friday and the market is actually closed okay so that's going to be a very very big deal because if the market's closed on friday that means that everything people are holding over the weekend could be in danger so we want to be a little bit careful going into taking any trades into this three-day weekend Something that I think could be very, very possible. We're seeing volatility drop off again, right? And I think a two hour divergence, even if it comes down to 12.12, we see reactions of volatility at that 12.12 level a lot. Okay, so you're starting to flag sideways. Maybe we do get another uh, little push of positivity for a few days here, and then that's ripped away with some news um, going on on Friday while the market is closed. So that would be very interesting. What that would do is set up a little two hour divergence here, which really likes to turn up the daily. So if you want the volatility to come back into this market, uh, this bar here kind of telling you like, hey, volatility is still not going to come back in. But if we're able to get that two hour divergence, that shows you there's a good probability that this is going to curl up on the daily and that would get us into positive territory. And the last time we got into positive territory, we see these volatility spikes over here. But if you look back, the last time we really got back into positive territory, what happened on volatility? Well, we saw that thing climb above 20 and bad, bad things happen above 20. But that's where my course is good. OK, guys, so remember that. That uh, for the next few days only, the rest of this month, that course is going to be 50% off. It is down in the description and it really gives it gives you a good indication. It gives you a good viewpoint of these indicators, how I see things and why these indicators can be useful and why they are so important. And then you can use that to formulate your own trading strategy. But just in case. I give you a bear market strategy as well using the weekly ranges and everything like that. So pay attention if this daily gets into positive territory, that's gonna mean volatility is back. Short and sweet video today. I'm just dealing with a lot, so I kind of had to pump through it, but come back in the morning and we'll talk about these stocks even more. And I really appreciate you guys showing up to the live video every day. It is so awesome. People getting the course because it's about to be, you know, increased in price. That is awesome that you guys are getting that. I'm getting questions about it. I'm getting feedback and people are really enjoying it. So I appreciate everything you guys do. I appreciate all my Patreon members and I appreciate you for liking and subscribing to this video and joining me live tomorrow morning. 
Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great, great night. I have a lot of stuff to get to, but good luck trading tomorrow. Peace.